It's time for some appearance upgrades on the Toyota Sequoia. So besides the fact that it's time to give this thing a bath once again, we're actually going to do some appearance upgrades on this vehicle. And namely, we're going to be replacing the headlights because the headlights are just stock for one. This one has been replaced at some point in time due to a small fender bender. And this one over here is actually the original one from 2010. It's quite faded. And in fact, it's actually got a big crack in it. So we're going to be replacing these with some aftermarket ones. Let's take a look at those. And then we'll show you exactly what steps you're going to need to take to get them swapped out. So these are the aftermarket replacement headlight uh, assemblies that we're going to be replacing with the stock ones. They come from Elite Auto Parts. I will leave a link in the description box below if you have one of these generation Toyota Sequoias or Tundras. I do believe they fit the same. Um, they don't come with any headlight or turn signal bulbs, but we do have a fix for that. Uh, obviously up here it's just going to be a standard orange bulb, but let's take a look and see what we're going to be replacing those headlights with. So one thing that I am not a huge fan of is LED headlights. And yes, as a rule, they're generally pretty bright for the person who's driving the vehicle, but it's awful tough driving down the road and you're meeting somebody coming at you with the LED lights and well, you're blind, even on a low beam. So we found the next best thing in a halogen bulb. Let's take a look. We've got the Sylvania ZXE. Yes, Z, because we're in Canada. Uh, we've got the H11s for the low beam. We've got the 9005s for the high beam. And that's what we're going to be installing in here. Now, these are super bright, but they're still halogens. They're not going to be blinding anybody, but they'll still give us the ability to see. Again, I will leave a link in the description box down below. If you want to pick up your very own Sylvania ZXE Silver Star bulbs. Let's get started on taking these old lenses out, and then we can do a before and after on what it looks like. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take off these two little Christmas tree style um, fasteners that hold this filler plate in. And then it's just a pressure fit over here on the edge. So you're just gonna get in there and give it a little tug. If your vehicle is equipped with headlight washer sprayers, this little thing right here, I'll show you what that looks like, where they, they basically, they, they just pop out and they give your headlight a squirt, get the bugs and mud off of it. Because all we need to be able to do is get to that 10 millimeter bolt right there. So we'll get that one out. We'll get these two out here at the top. And uh, then we'll be able to unplug everything from the headlight and pull it out. So once you get your 10 millimeters out of the way, then you've got to unplug everything uh, on the back side here. So you've got your two headlights, you've got your turn signal, and then you've got your marker light over here. Then you're going to want to take the whole assembly and flip it upside down because now we've got to get that windshield sprayer off the bottom of the assembly. And that is held on there with three rusty bolts. We're going to try and get those off without breaking them. So now that we've got this washer nozzle thing out of the way, I'm going to replace all the bulbs, not just the headlight bulbs. So over here, you've got yourself a standard 4157 turn signal. And over here is just a standard 194 clear bulb. So I'm going to grab a couple of those. We'll get them into the new assembly and then reverse the process and get everything back in place. So depending on the quality of headlight setup that you're buying, you can usually get these with all the stock bulbs uh, already installed, such as the headlights uh, and the turn signal and park lights. This case, I got a little bit of a deal on this set, so we are going to replace all the bulbs just to make sure that everything fits the way it should be. So your low beam is gonna go here, high beam is gonna go here. All right, so we got one down. Let's get the other side done, and then we'll give this thing a bath back and outside and see what it looks like with the two new headlights on it. You know, one of the big downfalls to owning a large vehicle is that it takes super extra long to clean. Anyways, we've got the Toyota all cleaned up. Let's take a look at these lights and see if you like them just as much as I do.
And there they are, all installed, new headlights, all new turn signals, and uh, man, what a difference. Shiny, like new, and they actually look good too. For a fraction of the cost of the original replacements, I could have gone with just the standard clear ones, like the aftermarket Kappa uh, or whatever. And I mean, geez, they were, you know, two or 300 bucks each. This way here, I think I paid 99 bucks plus shipping. Maybe, might've been even free shipping, I don't know. It was 99 bucks. And I got a pair of aftermarket. If I had to replace them two, three times in the lifetime of us owning this vehicle, it certainly would be well worth it. We've got a few little things left to do on this vehicle. We've got an O2 sensor to install, which we will do that soon. And a few little touch-ups here and there. We still gotta get that back hatch fixed. Uh, it's bubbled up a little bit and uh, we've gotta get some rot fixed on it. So that is going to do it for this quick episode of installing the new headlights on the 2010 Toyota Sequoia. And if you've got a Toyota Sequoia or a Tundra uh, 2010 or of this generation, that is the easy steps to changing those headlights. Guys, if you want more automotive content in the form of a podcast, make sure you check out the Get Out and Drive podcast, which I am a co-host with John Custom Carner Meyer. Uh, we talk all kinds of neat stuff. I'm educated every time we do a podcast. We interview folks, and uh, it really is a great program. Make sure you're tuning in wherever you listen to your podcast. And if you don't listen to podcasts, make sure you start. Head over to www.getoutanddrive.com, and you can listen to it right there. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Thanks for all your support, and thanks for helping to grow this channel. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll do it again real soon.